can barely see it. <laughs> it's a sweet place. Yeah, it is. Look, geese getting out of the field. See them over there? Honkers? Yeah, honkers. We got, oh yeah, look at that. Yeah! <laughs> oh. What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. We're out at my new lease, man. Uh, I originally leased this place for the goose and duck hunting opportunities. Uh, oh, there's a bunch of honkers out there. Wow. <laughs> for the goose hunting like that right there, there's probably a good 30 geese out there. I'll be darned. Uh, but it's deer hunting season. And uh, me and old P. Diddy, we're out here to put some corn piles down. This is it. Man, there's a bunch of honkers out there. But I gotta let you guys know, August 3rd is when the new company drops. Uh-huh, it's whitetail time, baby. Buckshunting.com. You guys gotta check it out on August 3rd. It is, it's a sister company of ducks, and so many of you have recommended that we create bucks hunting for the last three to four years. There has been a ton of you recommend it, and here we are, it's time to do it. So, just wanted to give you guys a heads up, a little look at the products. This is just one of the normal logo tees. This hat, absolutely one of my favorites. But I will uh, link Bucks Hunting down below. Don't forget, August 3rd, the website drops and all of the merch will be available. But here we are. I am gonna try to zoom in out there, I don't think. You guys can see them honkers out there just a grazing. This property has essentially two to three ponds, which we will be duck and goose hunting. This field, which is as Gerald puts it, the Mecca field. It's like the hometown field, geese in it every day, twice a day. You can kick them out one day and they'll be back the next. We've been wanting to get over here for quite some time. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to go see them ponds. Yeah, I am too. Gerald hyped them up. Yeah, he said that they're beautiful. Perfect little duck ponds back in these trees. And we gotta find Gerald's uh, trail cam so we can put down some corn. Yep. I don't know how hard that's gonna be. Did he tell you where it was? He dropped me a pin on Onyx to find it. Is it on the tree row or in the trees? I don't know. It looks like it's on this edge somewhere down this way. But we're gonna jump back in the side by side. Decided to bring you guys along. This is one of my dream, dream leases that I've wanted for quite some time. We've been acquiring them and it's been awesome. Um, as you guys have seen, the last few videos about the leasing properties, hey, it takes money to play. I'm, I'm just gonna be honest about it. So one thing about this field, it is probably now my only option, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get it. It's one of the only options in my whole area, probably one of three fields that you could actually put a pit blind in the middle of the field and it, you know, for the amount of money that you're gonna spend on a pit blind, it would provide. Uh, so I'm gonna ask if I can do that for number one. Number two, the amount of water on this field in these trees, gonna provide some water hunts. Number three, this field has been leased for the last like eight years by the same guys that have just deer and turkey hunted it. As you've seen, old P. Diddy filmed a turkey uh, fly up in the tree back yonder. But the guys that have leased it for the last eight years have never goose hunted it once. So the first hunts that we pull off of this place are gonna be epic, like crazy. Well, there's our buddies. Good little group right there, honkers. <laughs> we found Gerald's camera. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a cell camera, so it, it updates you right to your phone. <laughs> Did you give him the moon? Yeah, great, great white albino rhino <laughs> running through here. He's gonna open his phone. He's gonna be like, "What in the actual?" Come on, Freddie. All right, well, I did, Gerald. I have to admit, I forgot to bring the weed whacker. He said, "Bob, don't forget to bring a weed whacker." Here we go. Found his camera. There she is. Uh huh. That's a bad boy. It's got the antenna on it for the old cell powered. I guess we'll just put a pile out here for now. I'm going to get to picking. That's what I'm going to do. Well, when we left, I told Preston, I'm like, we're forgetting some. We're forgetting something. What is it, Preston? We got about halfway here, and I go, oh yeah, weed whacker. So I'm going to clear out again bare spot here i'm almost there put our corn pile down just waiting to run into a snake 
Ugh. You say that there's a huge spider. Look huh? at the look at that wolf spider. Where? Look at him. Oh, I yeah. hate spiders. Oof. Right. Oh, thanks for the blade, dog. Don't test me, P. Diddy. Don't test me. All trespassers better stay off my property. You know, in the uh, in the uh, deal, he said that he'll provide in the lease agreement. He was like, he provides all of the signage, so no hunting signage leased. He said if there's any intruders, that I am not allowed to tell them that they can't be on here, but I can all means. By all means, he said, get a hold of him so he can take care of the situation. Huh. It's like a legit, yeah. this is a legit lease. You know, this guy, there's no games to be played. One thing, guys, when I'm on that subject, guys, if you guys are looking at hunting anything, that is not your family-owned deal. You're trying to hunt somebody else's stuff. The one thing to do, be respectful. And I mean real respectful. Oh, what Freddy's been waiting for. You need some water, buddy? Come on. So this is the big pond. This is a pond that you can see from the road. Uh, the only thing is, man, there's these houses close. I, want, I wonder if anybody's actually ever hunted these. I think you could hunt that side towards this. And then shoot this you, way. That's too close to town. Yeah, so there's this pond and I have witnessed loads and loads of lessers just piling on this pond. And when he said it was part of it, I was like, sweet. But when we started talking about hunting it, he was like, yeah, we'll just have to kind of look it over and assess it before, you know. Basically, it's so close to residential. I don't want to, I don't want to like, do like an eight or 10 man hunt on this little thing. We could get some early duck season yeah, stuff early out duck of here. Season. Then maybe some like, you know, when we're doing half groups, like six guys. Yeah. Wouldn't be too bad. No. But I guess the fishing's pretty good. We need to try it. Yeah, why didn't we bring anything? I know. I guess there's some really good crappie and bass in this pond. But it wraps all the way around. Back to the deer hunting. Um, again, what's awesome about this, Lise? Awesome deer hunting. Uh, when Gerald <laughs> found out that I had got it for waterfowl hunting, he was like, do we get to deer hunt it too? And I'm like, yeah, it states right here in the contract that we're able to. Why? He was like, dude, there are monsters on there. So it just goes to show it's the same people been leasing it for the last eight years. And I know there's probably a lot of you going, well, you just took it from them, blah, blah, blah. I didn't take it from them, y'all. The landowners, the farmers, they want to make money. I can't, you know, you offer it. I'm not trying to step on anybody's toes by no means. A north wind here. Yeah. Would be sweet. You hunt that side of the field, I think you're fine. Yeah, I think you'd be fine too. You drive right in down that street or that house road, drop a two A frames. Gets, I wonder if it gets real deep. I bet it does. It kind of looks like, like it. it would. <laughs> yeah. Fred, go Fred. Oh, he's been waiting for that. Yep, it gets pretty deep oh, right off the bat. It gets real deep right off the bat. <laughs> We're going to need old duck shit. Yeah. We're gonna need the kayak. You know, it'd be, uh, it'd be cool here. What? If those hay bales stay. Oh, yeah. If you could mow along this edge and weedy and put honkers up in the grass. Yeah, that'd be sick. Honker decoys just right up here. And like... then put a blind like next to that one. And then like to your left, if you're hunting, if you have a right wind, you could do a bunch of cool stuff. I feel like we're gonna need some like 10 foot leaders on our floaters, dude. Yeah. Or you could do a good old on a rope. Yeah, and throw just run a string out and let them just kind of float with the wind out there. That yeah. wouldn't be a bad idea. If you have a north wind, it kind of stop them too from landing past it. That wouldn't be bad. Yeah. If you guys got an idea, deep water hunting. Is there a system out there for deep water rigs, or a system for tying off at the bank and running floater rigs with the wind? You what? Just go buy a trout line. Do a trout line? Yeah. Yeah, that would work too. I'd make it easy. But I know this pond, dude. Unreal. I bet you at one point, I seen 2,000 geese load on this little thing. Like, stuffed. I, I can't imagine what it looked like, you know? 
you could hide a generator behind one of those hay bales Look, and run an ice eater down. <laughs> and then you could come refill that thing without ever busting this because you can just yeah, true. walk right behind it and kind of hide. You've been talking, you, you love the idea of ice Dude, eaters. they're so, the, we, when it freezes over, there's when, times. When it freezes over. But there's times that like, if you take advantage of it and do put an ice eater in here, those birds come out of town, fly over this to these fields. Yeah. If this is open and they don't have to fly as far, yeah, they're gonna load up. Oh yeah, very true. Good point, old P. Diddy, good point. Whew. So, the deer hunting. This is the tree belt. This whole tree belt that runs the entire length of this section. Basically, it is a mile long tree belt. Really thick, a creek that runs through it that I couldn't even get to showing you. I am struggling out here. Uh, essentially, one, two, three small ponds. This would be the fourth one. But that tree belt's so thick that Gerald has seen giants in there. I, we still have to get in there and find where these old, where these other guys had their blind. You, you would think that there would be some signs of maybe where they had a tree yeah. stand or something. When are you gonna come hang a tree stand? When you find out there's good deer here? Yeah, I know. That's what we gotta do. Find out there's deer, and then I'm sure there will be. It's just like you said, right back here. There's some four wheeler tracks. Yeah. And that was a good point that you made wonder who he gives so there's like another landowner that butts up to it and they let him fish it that's yep. the question it's like somebody's driving through your deer hunting property is it it's not really the ideal thing <laughs> like i didn't see any tracks really way back there no. where the camera was and where the deer probably are but around the ponds here you can tell probably old little jimmy's just been blazing trails out here so we're gonna have to uh square that up make sure we're good to go on people not out here lollygagging around but here we are this is what i'm talking about we already filmed i don't know uh, there's this literally there were, huge it's huge it's, it's a lot big bigger than i thought yeah. that's the first thing girl said he's like i don't think it's that big now that i'm looking at it it's huge i think so here, here's our option a lot of dark goose hunting here not a lot of white so laying out in the middle of this thing in white i think we can do it early season but we're gonna have to start hunting the edges all these trees around it depending on the wind with full bodies and being on the tree row. Yeah. This tree row really isn't that bad. It's not nearly as tall as I thought it was. But this is where I want to put a pit blind. If you oh, put a pit oh. blind, dude. Then you don't have to worry about it. You put a pit blind and you do nothing but full bodies. Right in the center of this bigger. All blinds. the way up. All the way up. Like the yeah. tallest part of the hill out there, right yes. next to where those honkers And are. that's also the longest part for north and south oh, wind. Dude. And then you can also hunt across. The roost is north of us they would see it from far away yeah this is a dream field this is um this is one of them fields it's just it's one of them fields that every single year the geese know about it they come back to it the same geese every single year that come down from canada they want to be at this one especially when it's really cold this is the first one they can actually stop at you know that's out of the city limits and get a bite yeah you've seen the honkers doing it yeah already yeah bunch of honkers <laughs> what is that? <laughs> that's some redneck ingenuity. <laughs> so somebody must have goose hunted that. Yeah, that's a goose hunting blind. Look, there's a Christmas tree on there. Let's go look at it. It's got lights on it still. What? <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Well, this is new. This is just from last year. Someone did hunt it. That's cool. Open her up. Dude, these better are... not be a possum in there. They're pretty cool. Oh. What? Definitely a possum in there. Something's living in there. Yeah. That's Pack bad. rats. Ugh. Pack rats bad. Wow. Look at that. They, they didn't mess around. Look, they got the, the weight. The weight for the door? <laughs> wow. I wonder if these are Ron's or the other, his other clients that used to have it. I don't know. Well, that's not good. Look at that. What? Someone been drinking the old beers out here. What's in this one? I don't know. Something fell out. I thought something's coming out after your ass. Got a box of heavy metals in there. <laughs> well, I'll be bad gum. That's cool. Abandoned blind. That is a really cool blind. Yeah, Look, you want to hunt? Now you don't even have to bring anything. <laughs> you can just set a guy outside, two guys in there, yeah, guy in the center, two guys in the other one. Yeah, be done. Brush them. Welcome stuff to on Bobby it. Guy Films. Saying he'll fly with professionals. <laughs> yeah. Are us, right? 
Nice. They're actually pretty cool, man. For a couple guys, that'd be fun. Yeah. They're legit. Like, dude, they are legit. They're sweet, dude. If, if it if it was raining, snowing, icing, sleeting, that'd be pumping. Yeah. I mean, you're really back here off the edge. It'd be I, so. I love the Christmas tree touch on each side. <laughs> like, might I say, those are sweet. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, they are fake Christmas well, trees. No, I think and these ones. <laughs> Are these, yeah, these are cedar. That's an actual real Christmas tree, cedar, but. Is it? Look, that's a fake Christmas no, tree. These are Christmas. This one definitely that's is. That's definitely a Christmas tree. But that's a fake one. I know. That's, that's hilarious with the lights on it still. I'll be dad gum. Dude, that's cool, man. They're off the edge quite a ways. It'd be some long shooting. Those are well made, too. They really they are. They didn't mess around. I did not. Gerald didn't even see him yesterday when he drove through here. And he drove right past He them. drove right past here yesterday. That is hilarious. I guess I'll go ahead and pick up their empties though. I did not know that these were in here. I'm gonna have to call him and ask if these stay with the property or not because that is cool, man. Look, yet you, you gotta... I gotta see if Gerald missed it. That's cool. Show the people. Dump it out and that'll... Boom. Catch. Yeah, I was wondering. I thought these they built these just for brush in front, but they're to catch string it. to pull it back oh. in. Look at that. That is slick. I gotta say, I hope we can use these things. I know. That's cool. They'll be gone once you put uh, once you put more trees in front of them. them? Yeah. I would pull them forward a little bit too. Yeah. You know? You got plenty of room to do it. Yeah. We better go, look how nice these little deals are. They got locks on them. I wanna check this one out. This, is, this one looks most used. Oh, you freaked me out. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Got some heavy metal action. Mm -hmm. Did you know Federal bought heavy I metal? Uh-huh. Look, they got their trash bucket up here. Look. What all they got in there? Look. Shotgun holder, shell Ooh, holder. Ooh, shotgun holders. Sheesh. Ooh, and uh, look, wasps. A hive of wasps. I'm out of here. A bee's nest. I'm out. Nope. I'm done. Close her up. Well, we are back here at the lodge, and this explains the entire day right there. I'm surprised you ain't over there laying with the dogs Sweat. with their belly on the cold floor. I've been outside for like five minutes. It's horrible. Happened quick. It's horrible. Right now, the humidity is at 41%. Yesterday, it was at 60. Ugh. Horrible, dude. Here is, uh, wanted to show you guys this, a couple collections from the Bucks line. This is one of our Freedom uh, graphic tees, the old Freedom Whitetail. Uh huh. And then the juicy leather patch hat. Uh huh. And then another graphic design. I really like this one. Just a good old Whitetail traditional design there. But August 3rd, yet again, guys. August 3rd, the Bucks website will go up. And uh, don't miss it. Uh, this year, we're just gonna have all the basic designs that you'll see on the website in the next year. Uh, we're gonna really ramp it up, but this year I think we have a grunt call and a couple other specialty items for y'all. But this is what we're getting ready to do. This is why P-Diddy's here in the first place. This is a little setup. I can't believe you bought this thing. Yeah. Then we don't have to carry all this up to Alaska for the podcast. We just hook the mics up to this. Mobile. Record it, record it straight to the camera, nice and easy. It's gonna, it'd be way too hard to get all this yeah, up there. This would be a lot to travel with. Yeah. That's gonna make it easy, dude. Yeah, all we need is four mics and you're done. Good to go. Portable uh, podcast deal that old P Diddy bought for Alaska and all of the trips that we're getting ready to make. We're getting ready to go to North Dakota, Alaska, a new one, possibly, highly possible that we're going October, Canada. Ooh. <laughs> Look, he's excited. I haven't been. I know. he. P. Diddy's never been to Canada. You, I've only been there, well, I've been there twice, but. But just to talk to the, the landowner about the blind situation that the other guys left out there. He said, Bob, I don't know, that must be the, the old leases. He was like, let me go to get a hold of him. He might just want to leave it out there and not want to mess with it. So it would be actually cool if you left it out there because me and old P. Diddy, me and Gerald, you could do some two man hunts out there. And that would be cool. Yeah, be nice fun. and easy. You oh, spotted oh. them. I probably wouldn't even seen them if you hadn't have seen them. I know, they're hidden. It only needs another few uh, evergreens on it. It's yeah. good to go. Maybe we'll just go buy a bunch of fake ones and 
water yeah. tanks. Some more Christmas trees. <laughs> I can't believe that. That's funny. They, and what, what was in front of them was Christmas trees too. You know, my dad does the same thing as fish habitat in our lake. He'll just take our whole, we get a live one. Yep. Just take the whole thing and throw it in the lake, use yep. it as habitat. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Me and old P. Diddy out there sweating our buns off. The new property, man, uh, it's amazing. I wish I, right when we left, I was like, dang it, we should have brought the drone. Cause I could have showed you an aerial shot of the ponds and whatnot. But I think we'll do that probably the first time we hunt it. Uh, but like I said, guys, the Bucks gear is dropping August 3rd. Do not miss it. And of course, we are giving away, I wanted to update, <coughs> wanted to update you guys. We are giving away a Sandhill Flyway hunt here for two. We will be drawing September 1st for January. Uh, and then we're doing a snow goose hunt. Yeah. And we'll be drawing for it probably like january 1st ish or yeah. mid-december i don't know maybe yeah. december 1st yeah that'll give you two months to get your ducks in a row probably december 1st we'll draw yeah. for the snow goose one and then the turkey one we'll probably draw i don't know probably february 1st or something for that mm -hmm. kind of just staggered all out two months yeah. apiece but lots of giveaway hunts we've already given away a turkey hunt for two and an alaska a crazy expensive hunt for two Three more hunts already coming y'all's way. Uh, these hunts, if you're wanting to get in on any of these hunt giveaways, I'm sorry y'all, but they're only for the podcast subscribers. The podcast subscribers are the ones that really, I mean, it is five bucks a month. It does help a lot. Those guys are honestly some of my longest term subscribers that I have. And the reason why I charge over there guys is because it's explicit and it's, it's adult friendly to put it lightly. It's not crazy. You know what I mean? But I just don't like kids um, hearing us talk like that. You know what I mean? So, hope you guys appreciate that. I hope you guys respect that. Uh, but uh, it's all about the kids out here. You know, you gotta, we gotta leave it PG, you know, rated here on the old channel. But hit that little notification bell down there. It'll notify you when I upload. We're gonna be doing a lodge update. We've got a lot of things getting ready to crack off here. And we are headed to North Dakota in less in like two literally two weeks two and a half three weeks are you ready it's happening <laughs> you are ready for me to put the camera in your i was face. like don't freak out don't freak <laughs> out it's happening oh we're so ready it is pathetic but y'all until next time